close your eyes and spread thoughts of goodwill. Start with goodwill for Patrick, and then goodwill for everybody. Goodwill is one of what they call the sublime attitudes. It's goodwill, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. Compassion is what goodwill feels when it sees that people are suffering or doing things that are going to cause suffering. The problem with suffering is that so much of it is invisible. In some cases we can see people physically harmed, or their possessions have been destroyed. We can say, oh, they must be suffering. Sometimes we see it in their faces. But a lot of people, you look at them and you wouldn't know what they're carrying around inside them. There's a photographer who started a project. He wanted to photograph 10,000 people from the streets of New York, just to show the human face of New York City. He put up a website, The Humans of New York, and eventually made a series of books, some about the people he took pictures of and some of he, he, pictures he took outside of New York, about all over the world. He began to realize the pictures were not enough, so he started asking people questions. And because he seemed to have an empathetic manner, there were a lot of people who would speak very frankly about what was going on in their lives. And some of the stories that he recorded are stories of triumph and happiness, but a lot of them are about miseries, miseries of childhood, miseries of an unhappy family, miseries at work, miseries in life in general. And you realize you look at these people and you wouldn't know, but the suffering is there. So compassion is an attitude that we should take as a default mode, because everybody here is suffering. The Buddha said if you look at one person suffering, the amount of tears that one person has shed over the many and many lifetimes that this person has been going through the process of death and rebirth and death and rebirth and experiencing the death of a mother and father, death of a child, death of a brother or sister, death of a friend. In this case, the tears that have been shed be more than the water in the oceans. So think about it. Each person is carrying out carrying out more than the water of the oceans in terms of past history. Fortunately, a lot of that we forget as we go from one life to the next, but even one lifetime can be pretty bad. So when we think thoughts of goodwill, extend it to thoughts of compassion. And don't have it stop just at the thoughts. Remember, the whole purpose of this exercise is to inform your thoughts and your words and your deeds. You look around us, this is a world of, of suffering. There are pleasures, there are times of happiness, but there's this big undercurrent. When you look at, when you look all around, and you can't find anybody who hasn't experienced this. There's a story in the commentary of a woman who's lost her child. She's got a baby son. The son is dead, but she refuses to admit that it's dead, and she goes around looking for some some way to help it recover from what she sees as simply an illness. And in the story, they say that she finally goes to the Buddha. The Buddha says, well, there is a cure for this, but it ha it's a mustard seed, which in India is one of the easiest things to find. But it has to come from a family where there's been no death. And so she goes from house to house asking for mustard seed, and everybody's happy to give it. But then she says, oh, by the way, has anyone died in this family? And in every case, there's no place on earth where in a family that hasn't had death. So she finally admits, yeah, her son is dead. She's able to admit the truth when she realizes that it's, it's not just her, it's everybody. But you, know, you don't just stop with that thought of everybody. You extend it to thoughts of compassion. When we suffer s sadness, we suffer grief, we suffer tragedies in life. Remember, other people have been through this too. And just as we want to have our, our feelings dealt with and with tenderness, we'll show some tenderness to others. And that way we, we move from, from grief to something larger, which is compassion. It doesn't deny the grief, but it also makes it something that gives you a motive to act in good ways with other people. And that's an emotion that's useful. It does honor to our sufferings, but at the same time shows that we can be kind to one another, help one another along. Because everybody needs help. 
Oh, es gibt halt Datenmeinde. 